All right, we're back with the first ever video version of the Headliner podcast. You've got me, Oliver Wellington, one of the co-founders of Headliner, and... What's up, everybody? My name is Maximilian Piros. I'm the product designer here at Headliner, and uh, honored to be here with the ineffable Oliver Wellington, the third. That's, well, we didn't need to tell him about that third, but hey, it's out, it's out. All right, so today we're going to be talking a lot about YouTube, which I actually didn't make it to podcast movement this year because of a little COVID situation at home, but my colleagues tell me that YouTube was the main buzzword buzzing around the convention this year, and so we thought we'd like to talk to you all a little bit about YouTube, what's going on with that in podcasting, and then some of the features in Headliner that you can use to get the most out of your relationship with YouTube, shall we say. So first off, I'm just going to talk a little overview um, about YouTube and podcasting. So about a year ago, Tom Webster dropped some information in an Edison research survey showing that 50% of respondents said YouTube is the place that they discovered new podcasts. In fact, YouTube is the second most popular search engine in the world, and a recent report suggests that 28% of podcasts now include a video component. So while podcast traditionally has been audio only, publishing through RSS feed to your iPod, iPods actually aren't even produced anymore, um, podcasting now has come to mean a lot more. And it's evolving into video. It's a, and once you're in video, definitely YouTube is a, a main place you want to be. Um, another thing that people don't realize is that a lot of people do use YouTube as an audio app. They even have a tag on some videos that's called listenable, which essentially suggests that this is really an audio experience in disguise. And another thing to note is from a study at Pacific Content, 39% of people are not even watching the video when listening to podcasts on YouTube. Kind of reminds me of um, original cable, like or even TV before cable, just older TV. There's basically shows that were just on there that were meant to be on in the background and you just kind of listen to them and they'd be going but uh, it wasn't necessarily like a rich visual experience was necessary for you to have that screen turned on and that audio piping into your room so as you know as youtube is so large and podcasting is including more video components it's going to be a place that you want to consider even if you don't record actual video like we are it's still a place you can get out there and get discovered so that's the main stuff i wanted to talk about today i want to pass it over to max to talk a little bit about the features in headliner that he designed so yeah i did go to podcast movement and youtube was all over there was even a a keynote with kai chuck who's heading up the the podcasting division at youtube and he had a, a lot of enthusiasm for what youtube is doing for podcasts although uh, very vague on on the details. So like, don't think there's going to be audio coming into YouTube anytime soon. It's still going to be video focused, but obviously that's what we're here to help with at Headliner is just helping get audio onto the platform, regardless of if it's a video podcast or just a regular audio podcast. Mm-hmm. And so Max, you've talked a bit about the automatic creation of these videos. So basically hooking your RSS feed up into Headliner And then for every time you publish, you'll get a video sent of your whole episode directly to your YouTube account. Is that something you could walk through a little bit in terms of the product? Yeah, absolutely. I think this is this is one of the benefits of a video podcast is if you happen to be listening to this as a video on YouTube or Spotify, wherever we're going to post it, this is the part where you can jump over and we'll put in a walkthrough. So as I talk through the experience, you'll have a visual side of it as well. But still, we're going to do audio first and try to make it standalone listenable. So if you're not in a a player, a podcast player that supports video, you can still understand what I'm talking about. We've automated the process of getting your podcast onto YouTube. So if you go into Headliner, there's now a feature that will just watch your RSS feed. So every time you publish a new episode... Headliner is watching the RSS and it's not in a creepy way though. Like we're not watching it creepy. It's more of a loving watch. Like we're overseeing your RSS feed, right? Yeah. Like we're like, there's like a corner that we're peeking out behind (laughs) and just (laughs) seeing what's happening, you know? 
Yeah. We're like reading a magazine and like peeking up from the top. All right. I like just it. making sure you're, you're all right. Like, it's not like we're not, we're not a stalker. We're like a guardian no. angel almost. And uh, every time you release a new episode, we will then know to take that audio and plug it into a video template that you've previously selected. That can be, you know, we have a bunch of stock templates, so it can be something we've created and you've just used, or it can be, and you can customize it as well, or it can be something you created completely from scratch. And every time your new episode is released, we'll take that audio, plug it into that video template, you know, do whatever is included there, like waveforms, or if there's text, we have some features to dynamically adjust the text. So it'll always be your episode name, for instance. So it's not just the same video every time, but you can add elements that will update based on the metadata of your new episodes. So you can take stuff like the episode title and it'll update the video template each time with the new episode title, with the episode art, and uh, all the different types of things like that that come from your feed. And then it creates the video and then it automatically posts it to YouTube on your behalf. So you've essentially given Headliner access to post videos for you and we'll We'll add in things like the the video title, which again can come from your podcast title. So it just automatically updates each time. The video description can be the podcast description. So again, it's just coming from your feed. It's just replicating the work you've already done and adding it to another directory essentially, which is YouTube. And so all that done, all that's done automatically. It's just set and forget it. It's zero work for podcasters. So mm-hmm. essentially what we've done is we've removed any excuses. There's just no excuse anymore you should put your podcast on YouTube. And that's the main point I'm trying to drive here. There's nothing to lose. You're not losing your time and you're just getting your podcast onto another place that is actually one of the biggest podcast discovery platforms in the world. So really no downside. And we definitely hope people make use of this feature. And they have been. I mean, it's actually one of the number one ways that people are using Headliner since we've released since we released this feature. It's been very nice. One thing I wanted to, do, to mention as well is that when you auto post to YouTube, you can actually post directly as a live post, but it could also be a draft. So you don't have to, you can go in and, and review everything in YouTube. In fact, you can set it up in Headliner and then actually never come back to Headliner again. And you'll just sit in your YouTube account and watch the video show up after you publish your new episodes. So it's a, it's just kind of a tool. It's just a tool to make sure you're getting content out there easily. Yeah, absolutely. We hear all the time people talk about how they like the effect of audiograms if it didn't take so much time. And so we just are always exploring ways to make you never have to use Headliner, essentially. You just set it up and it does all the work for you. And you, we kind of think of it like automating all that work that was, was just getting in the way of focusing on your podcast as a whole, focusing on the parts that are fun, like creating the content, recording it, et cetera. And then the kind of almost mundane stuff of converting it into an audiogram, uh, getting it up onto YouTube, like the posting, the figuring out the description, all that can just be automated because you've already done the work once. And that's when you post it to your feed. And then we just, at Headliner, we just try to amplify the reach of that, of that content you've already created. So Max, what's the best type of video in your opinion that you can put onto YouTube? Well, there's definitely a hierarchy of what video types do well on YouTube. The first being, you know, actual video. So if we're being intellectually honest, audiograms are probably not going to do the best in terms of ranking through their algorithm they're not going to stick out as much as something more dynamic with a lot of jump cuts and action and stuff like that. Cause YouTube definitely prioritizes those types of videos. But that said, as a podcaster, I think it's really just about ROI and thinking through how much investment do you want to make in something like heavy video production? Because at the end of the day, something's better than nothing. So if you're not interested in video, I think it's, it's still really important to get your podcast onto YouTube just for all the discovery features, any topics you're talking about can be ranked there in the second largest search engine. So I think it's important to get at least something there, starting with an audiogram, which you know Headliner now does all the work for you. So there's really no excuse not to automatically create an audiogram version of every episode and get it into, into YouTube, which we auto post for you. So again, zero work for you. And you get the benefits of having your content flowing through the second largest search engine, which is owned by the first largest search engine, Google, if you're not aware of that. And there's a lot of synergy happening between the two. So 
you know, if you're searching on Google for whatever topic, now if your podcast is talking about that, you might start ranking in the video sections that they return for results. So I'd say, you know, although audiograms might not be the best ranking videos, still huge benefit to doing them. But whenever you're ready to move up, probably doing something a little more engaging with a lot of a lot of actions, it's better than a static video, like an audiogram. I'd say a the top more work. level. What's <laughs> I can that? tell you that much. I mean, even doing this podcast, we, you know, off and on, we'll do episodes and the audio only versions are a lot less work than even though we're doing this very simple video, even uh, Max and I preparing for this, there's been a lot more anxiety <laughs> just because we're turning the camera on. So I definitely think that while it's good to do video like this, the reality is many podcasters will never do video because it's not the main medium. It's not the reason they got into podcasting in the first place. And it's just not what they're passionate about. And I think that's okay. Like, I think it's okay to say, you know what, I'm not doing video. Granted, if you do invest the time and and the production and all that, I think it will probably, like you're saying, do better on YouTube. It doesn't mean that you can't get the benefits of YouTube uh, just by doing audiograms. I know it's simple, but at the end of the day, you're getting your content out there to people where they are. So it, it's better than nothing for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's definitely more work. It's just a question of where you're at as a podcaster. But when I'm listening to a, a podcast with a video component, most of the time I'm not watching it as that survey suggests. So from personal experience, I think it's definitely true that the video is running in a different tab. I'm doing something else. Maybe I'm working on headliner stuff or whatever. And and then when something interesting comes up that they're talking about something on screen that like, you know, they're running through a, a photo or something or a video and they're all talking about it in the audio experience, you just have to imagine what they're talking about. But, but with the video, I will hop over to, to see what's happening in that tab. And, and for like maybe 1% of the episode I'm watching. So it is, there is some value there, but I think it's a question of, you know, do you really want to invest the time in getting that? extra 1% of value for your podcast, or do you want to stick to audio? Cause it just works better for your workflow. I definitely believe there's still a future for audio podcasts. Oh, there's a lot of people who were at podcast movement specifically, I think who were saying, uh, you know, video is the future and all podcasts are going to become videos. And I found that a bit confusing because I think a podcast is something different and what differentiates a podcast from a vlog or like a TV show at the end of the day, when everything becomes video so I think there's still going to be a place for audio first content. And um, that's what I consume mostly as well. Although there are some parts that a video can, can amplify mm -hmm. the experience in some ways. And uh, I think another way to think through video is that, you know, you, you could do a strategy where your, your entire episode can be turned into an audiogram. So again, you don't have to invest in the video. Headliner does that for you, post it onto YouTube. But then to promote that episode, you might do a quick video clip, like maybe you film yourself like a, you know, just like a Instagram Reels, Snapchat type of type of story. Um, YouTube like shorts a, even. Yeah, like YouTube <laughs> shorts. You do like a little video clip filming yourself talking about the episode. That's going to rank pretty well on YouTube. And then it can promote your episode. So there's ways like that that you can kind of do a nice mix of video plus audiograms and still kind of keep your experience audio first but leverage the, the benefits of being on YouTube and uh, you know, either having people consume the episode there via full episode audiograms or jumping over to the pot to whatever podcast app they choose when they see in YouTube that you're promoting a new episode. That's just another trigger to say, okay, let me check out, you know, Apple podcasts or Spotify and listen to that episode when I'm, you know, working or mm -hmm. in at the gym or whatever. So I think it's, it's really, there's no right answer, you know, and there's still going to be audio first experiences. So don't worry if you're not into video, but just something to consider as another aspect to promoting your podcast. So yeah, let me just talk a little bit about how to actually set this all up. So if you are a headliner user, great, you're going to go ahead and log in at headliner.app. If you're not a headliner user, go sign up for our free account, uh, headliner.app, headliner.app and give it a shot. So first thing you're going to want to sign in, go to the home page. Uh, either on the web app or on your mobile app, click on automatic audiograms to start an automation. Once you've selected your podcast, there is an option for short videos or full length. Since you're going to do the whole thing for YouTube, select full length and make sure you have auto post to YouTube. That toggle there, make sure that's set to yes. 
From there, it'll just ask you to sign in and authenticate to your Google account. And uh, then you're gonna go ahead and select your templates. These can all be set up with placeholders for dynamic content, meaning you specify where you want a consistently changing item like episode title. And then every time you update it in your feed, we will update it in your video. That makes sure the episode titles change. This will keep your videos constant, but unique. So after you set this up, uh, you just basically go in to your YouTube account and wait for your headliner video to show up there. It's uh, as easy as that. No excuses. That's the name part. There's, there's no excuses. Put your podcast on YouTube. Just do it. We're going to do the work for you. Okay. So you're going to love the way you're going to love the results. I hope if not, you can let us know and we'll, we'll figure out how to make it even better. It's going to look great on you. You're going to love the way your podcast looks on YouTube. <laughs> well, all right. That's been another fantastic episode. The first video episode of the headliner podcast. I hope everyone enjoyed hearing from max and i and the lovely new backgrounds we have if you're interested in getting this background for your podcast just shoot an email over to us support at headliner.app and we can set you up with a custom made headliner video background thank you so much and until next time keep it heady